We've all got a wild side. Feed it with meat. Jack Lynx, feed your wild side. This is Michelle. This is Ken. This is Mike. And this is Rich. And this is... The Manwood Show. There it is. Alabama. <laughs> I hope. I haven't heard from him Hello. in a while. Hello. You have a prepaid call from... Thomas Allen. An inmate at Racine Correctional yep, Institution. Alabama. Your account balance is $17.94. To hear the charges for this call, press 2. To accept this call, press 5. To refuse this call, hang up now. To block this call, all calls other than properly placed attorney calls may be monitored and recorded. Thank you for using IC Solutions. You may begin speaking now. Hello, Alabama. Welcome to the uh, Manwood Show live. How's your night? I heard that uh, your team won. Yep. 49. The west side. Yeah, yeah that's the, the, that's uh, the, that was Team Teen, right? Yeah. Alabama. They yeah. won. When they beat Kentucky today, they clinched the west side, and they clinched the Burke, uh, the SEC championship <laughs> Burke. They're going to play, they're gonna bay, play, <laughs> they're gonna play uh, Georgia for the SEC championship because Missouri beat Tennessee. So when Missouri beat Tennessee, they clinched. Georgia clinched the uh, east side, so it's going to be Alabama and Georgia in the SEC championship. <laughs> yeah. You guys took all my candy. Oh, my sure I'm going to give it back <laughs> to you in a minute. Give me them rings. You can have them cherry craps. Dude, <laughs> you got what I need. But I okay. need you to know okay. I'm just a friend. Hey, so I didn't answer your phone call because I was, I was hanging out with my stepdad. And... Um, I didn't have my phone on me at the time. Mm. I like them. You hear me? Yeah. You, yeah, I hear you. Rub, rubber bands. Dude, I wanted you to call. I was going to record you, give a plea for help from prison, man. I was going to play it over and over again on Rumble. So I tried to call, probably. I mean, I tried to call. I got on five different Oh, calls. yeah. I heard it because the, da- the phone system was down, right? No, no one, because the people... On the phone prior to me, on all five fucking phones, because I switched phones, five different, different phones, the people on them, it worked for them. When I got the fuck on the damn thing, it just says stand by. When I got the fuck off of it, all five phones, the people after me, mm-hmm. it all worked for all of them. <laughs> it just wouldn't work for me. And that's, that's crazy, bro. That is crazy, dude. You know, I think that some people just have that electronical luck like that. Because, like, shit like that oh, happens yeah, to me all the time, up. dude. That's why I would never have, like, one of those <laughs> implants where I had to open up a door or some shit. What's I'd be, funny? What I'd happened? be fucking screwed. Because the shit won't work, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You I imagine know the feeling, dude. That shit happens to me, man. I just crashed my airplane. I was like, oh, <laughs> stupid ass shit that makes things stupid. Yeah. And it makes it happen, something bad. Dude, that has to be so frustrating. Yeah, that's very frustrating. Yeah, because we only got we only had one caller Friday night, and I was from Oshkosh, and that was Richard Harrison, and he said that he I think he said that he had, it took him a while to get on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, problem getting on. Yeah, the phones are messed up. They're messing it up themselves, well, dude. Give us your like a lot of these things today. Are censored. Today's topic is Bigfoot. Give us your Bigfoot story from prison. Yes, Bigfoot story. Uh, tell them about when you saw him in the yard, in the prison you, yard. They're running. You looked in the toilet. <laughs> you looked in the toilet, and you, you must have been there. <laughs> no. Give us a Bigfoot story, Alabama. We know you got to have something from the woods, given that mm-hmm. you're from Alabama. Yeah, what's yeah. Out there? Isn't it like in your part of the area? Isn't it called a skunk ape? Mm. Mm-hmm. Or is it a lizard one? I have no idea. Dude, I've never heard of that. I don't, we don't even, you know what? The more questions we ask you about down south and the 
the more times that you don't have an answer, we're beginning to believe that you're not even from Alabama. You're not even a genuine yeah, Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Alabama. New York, New York, York City. Hello, you have a prepaid no, call from. I have to stop you. Richard Harris, an inmate at <laughs> Oshkosh Correctional. I have lots other of other than properly placed attorney call call calls may be monitored and recorded. Yeah. Thank you for I'll using IC yeah. Solutions. Yeah. You may begin speaking that. now. Yeah. Hey. 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 Put spaghetti sauce in my masacholi sauce. You see it two Man. times, two times. It don't see it at all, at all. Yeah, forget about it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. About put some cheese on. So tonight's topic is um the Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot. Does he have big feet? Uh. <laughs> Do you believe in Bigfoot? Do yeah. you think that Bigfoot is a is is credible? Uh, well, what comes to mind when you guys say Bigfoot is I remember those two those two Mexican kids that had that that hair thing. Their, their whole body was all hair. Oh no, I know you're talking about. You They're in a circus. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a, a werewolf yeah. effect. No, this is actually no. That's like a werewolf thing, and that's another conspiracy for another day because we can talk about the circus people and how mm-hmm. they got there. And what really brought some of those people there. But tonight, no, we're actually talking about Bigfoot. And Bigfoot is, you know, when you when you think about Bigfoot, it isn't just an American thing. Yeah. They're never supposed to be here. (laughs) Came on a UFO. I've heard that Bigfoot song (laughs) for the last time. My, that's a song, R and B song. Is that really a song? Is that, uh, he's my my I was just making it up. I was I having says no, no. <laughs> Nobody's you supposed to be Harry here. And the song. Bigfoot is <laughs> a, like a folklore. Weird. It started out in the eighteen hundreds. No, they bad. had no TV. Further they had bad. no radios or Further nothing bad. like that. So they all sat around the table and they're talking scary stuff to their little kids. You know. No, the Native Bigfoot. Americans we, actually had. Mm-hmm. The Madingos that date way back to Mandingos? before, not Mandingos, but Madingos. <laughs> Madingos. I see. I don't have my paper with me to say it properly, yeah. but we can always Make Google it that. Wiggle, yeah, that's fine. Keep telling us I about hope it. so. Yeah, what was that now? About it. I want to hear more so. about it. Yeah, but you, we can also talk about like um, not only the Native Americans here, but we can bring this all the way back to the Indies and in Tibet. Like, we've all seen those. Like, it's such a common uh, folklore that we've seen it, like, in DuckTales in our cartoons and even Woo-hoo. those little. Dun, 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 hell yeah. Dun, dun, Six Million Dollar Man. Dun, 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 the Six Million Dollar Man also fought with, uh, or whatever. Yeah, and they always, what did they oh, show? Oh, they become friends. They always showed it Was as it? the Bobbital Snowman. Yeah, fight that sign for the bad scientist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bigfoot. Dude, that's out. all I could think of when I seen their heads. So if you Google like the Bigfoot. Yeti and the Himalayan like uh Bigfoot and stuff like that, they all have like this little tiny pinhead. And it made me think of like that mosquito outbreak Small that brain. they had. Yeah. Yeah, they're just so basic. Yeah. You think big. so? Yeah. Move. You know what? I think it's some of that Fart, and eat shit. We'll fuck something well, up. Well, the ones that were... <laughs> I'm the bonga. Nyan, nyan. Well, the ones that were actually able to get out and do their thing and escape whatever reality, whatever goes on in Bigfoot reality there. <laughs> but let me tell you something. My feet stink. I think the reason why you don't catch them on video correctly and stuff like that is because... They have some kind of electronical interference thing going on. You they, think that's they, what that is? I think they operate on a different frequency. Maybe they can do that with their bodies because there's like other animals like those electric eels and that can make electricity. So maybe Bigfoot could just like... Mm, and you know what? He and hums real hard. If you pull up that one video <laughs> of <laughs> terror trial Big, Bigfoot about their metaphor. Bigfoot, recent Bigfoot trial. It's what Bigfoot you make it. Sightings. You said terror right? trial? No, it's uh, not Harry. Terror, terror, terror trial cams. Terror... Terror. 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 Oh, I'm so fucking scared. Like T-E-R-R-O-R. Terror trail. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-T. What you know about me? She got a big house. A big house. And a big wheel. That's actually a song, too. Yeah. Looks like we're going to have to call him up. Well, <laughs> you, can't, you can't talk to Ralph. Ralph I Ralph. can talk to him if I want to, damn it. Hello, you have a prepaid call from... More about 
Jeff Miller. An inmate Jeffrey. at Oshkosh <clears throat> Correctional <clears throat> Institution. Your account balance is fifteen dollars and twenty-four cents. To hear the charges for this call, press two. To accept this call, press five. To refuse this call, hang up now. To block this call and all future calls, press nine. All calls other than properly placed attorney calls may be monitored and recorded. Thank you for using IC Solutions. Hey, you may what's begin up? speaking now. Hey, what's up, uh, fifteen dollars and twenty four cents guy? What's going on, Jeff? <laughs> hey, what's going on, Jeff? You're welcome to the Man Witch Show. You know what our topic tonight <laughs> is? Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The fifteen dollars and twenty four cents was your uh, phone amount. <clears throat> That's what we got on the line, yeah, on the phone. Well, for guys calling in from oh. prison. <laughs> or it's fifteen dollars and twenty-four cents. I don't think you can hear that. Do you hear how much money a person has left on their phone? I forgot no, myself. I don't. Oh, you don't? Oh, no, you don't know. That's that. why you didn't no. understand what I said. Oh, You're yeah. like, huh? What yeah, is this guy I'm, saying? I, I was like, all right, what, what's fifteen dollars? <laughs> <laughs> and then I so Bench I was trying to tools. think of what uh, Bigfoot's uh, what what his call was. Oh, 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 wait, no, that ain't it. No, he smacks. He smacks. He smacks. <laughs> that's Tarzan. Yeah, that's Tarzan. No, yeah, that's Tarzan. Yeah, that's Tarzan. Like, I'm sorry. No, he, he makes. Woo. No, I thought he smacked something on the, on no, the, on the trees. No, he makes like that. I've been playing. Yeah. Them. I've been listening. I've yes. Been, I've actually that's been. That's he makes that whoop. Oh, my God, dude. I've actually whoop. been playing he, he these make that noise again. Yeah, he makes like a whoop noise. Hold on. I want I want. Jeff I got to everybody make that noise. in the room looking at me right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> they heard it. They heard Bigfoot sound before. They're like, careful, holy shit, though, it's Bobby. here. Somebody might think what the? No way. It found me. Dude, somebody played a prank on Bigfoot. Now he wants revenge. You guys are on the guy walk by and he'll be winking at me or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, here. Something else is yeah, winking now. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're up the wrong tree here. <laughs> the one eyed yeah. snake that sneezes. <laughs> uh, so. Start hissing at him. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a Bigfoot story for us. You got, yeah, today, today's, <laughs> today's topic is Bigfoot. Tonight, today's topic is uh, Bigfoot. Do you have any. Any uh, content about Bigfoot? You gotta have uh, something. No, I, I, um, I was always told when I was younger, like, uh, you know, that obviously, you know, being out in the woods and everything like that, Bigfoot's around. And then uh, I got took out to, I was taken out into the woods, and uh, they had this old, uh, like, little hunting shack that was way out there. And uh, they said that this is where, you know, Bigfoot obviously lives and everything like that. And, you know, I, I, whatever, you know. <laughs> And then, um, um, yeah, I was always told I was going to get dropped off in the woods at night sometime, and then I was going to, you know, run into Bigfoot, whatever. And, you know, obviously a kid, you know, I'm thinking, you know, whatever, come on, bring them on, you know. Shit, even today, bring them on. I got to see this dude. They bring them on, bring them on. Him. Fact, they just spotted him. <laughs> the out shows in, up. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> he was like, ah. Where did you spot him at? <laughs> they, they, room. Said they spotted him out in Arizona or some shit. Oh yeah, when no, the train was Colorado. going by, he was sitting there taking a duke. You guys want to yeah, hear? Yeah, yeah. You guys want to hear? Day, you know? You want to hear what Bigfoot's supposed to sound like? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, let's he, hear it. All right. <laughs> now listen, was like, that, that was that was that? that was recorded in what the Sierra. That? that was recorded in the Sierra Mountains. Wow, dude! There's <laughs> somebody out there. A wild the boar and something else going at it. It sounded like so. The weekend topic this weekend is Bigfoot. So. It's really enjoyable to hear, like, everybody's got, like, a story or a non-story or they like to just sit around and hear us talk about a little bit about what we know about Bigfoot because we seem to be, like, aficionado, you know, experts. We're, like, miniature which has made people think that it's home moved because it was homegrown experts. <laughs> we do our own research and we look into things on our own and we, we present videos and such and we 
talk about like what we've seen and what we've witnessed so far because after you've been alive for a little bit in life you start to see like patterns and things and you're able to call things out and you're a little bit more confident like when you when you want to forecast stuff sometimes when you look at people they're so loud what they have going on it's like holy shit i can see your future and i can see your past i can see where you came from and where you're going to go if you don't change your path but yeah well, 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 you are your program to aid and assist people in taking the right path and getting back to the right path of uh, dealing with their issues, the troublesome issues that they're dealing with in the community. Go ahead, somebody. Well, part of the yeah, issues that they have to deal with in the community is that there's a there's a. Ask your question. I say, what do you do to help the people get back on the path of aid and assist them with their problems that they're having out here? Well, some of the things that we do is we give them emotional support right now because a lot of the people we talk to are long-term people. And the people that are coming out, well, then, you know, we talk a little bit about it then and, and see where things are going to go. But we talk a little bit about their cases. And, you know, they talk about it. It's their story. You know, we give them the opportunity to talk about what they want to and what they feel comfortable about doing. Because it's each their own, and not everybody wants to talk about their story and that everybody's comfortable asking for help. So sometimes it's a little bit easier just like being able to practice talking to somebody about things that you don't talk about every every day in jail. I mean, you think anybody in jail is going to really talk about Bigfoot? No, but it gives you a chance to, like, escape from that moment, you know what I mean? And think about, like, some of the things that when you were free that, you know, like, gives some of that sense of, like, you know, home. And it's, like, weird, but, you know, prison, prison isn't just of the body it's of the mind too because some of these men when they come out they really suffer because they're still in that mentality of being trapped in their mind and this and this gives them an opportunity to explore a little bit about that too you know oh, you heard the rest of the story what do you tell them about about uh aid and assist in him what do y'all do aid and assist in talking about things one thing because it's obvious what the problem is in the community. So what do you do to bring uh, uh, aid and assistance <laughs> to the people who need help, 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 help in the community? Well, part of the community being able to help is understanding that they that they are part of that they are part of a community, and you're not alone. I mean, just think about it now. Like when you walk outside, like can you point out how many neighbors you actually know? And if you can, do good for you because a lot of people can't. I can a little bit because it's a generational thing. I bought a, a house that was from a grandparent, so it's a little bit easier. But I've lived in neighborhoods, and, you know, like once every two, three years, you know, I'm moving all around the south side with my family and my kids and stuff like that because, you know, you move to a different house. You move, Your family grows. Every so many years, your family grows, you know. I can't just have a one-bedroom house with, like, fucking three kids. It doesn't work out. But even then, I mean, you're moving so often, you know, a lot of the community that they don't recognize their neighbors anymore. You know, kids go out. They don't go outside and play. Drive around your neighborhood and see how many kids are outside playing. Nobody is outside playing anymore. And they're not even playing in the parks. They're not playing in the parks. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Yeah. And you know what? I live by a school and I can hear the bell ring. And you know what? There, there ain't no kids outside going outside to play. There's like, we're like, not like I'm like, like, where are the children and shit? But like, dude, like, you got the statue there. Like, I didn't take that down. What happened to playtime? What happened to some of that movie, security and a lot of that? We're going to bring bring that back down to the community. You, when people move into the neighborhood, is anybody showing up with, like, the baked goods like you see on TV? That shit's a fantasy. That doesn't happen. You don't even know who your neighbors are. You can't name them. You can't point them out. And a lot of the apartment buildings that are showing up, these apartment buildings are in pick-and-save parking lots. Oh, man, that's fair. Yeah, look at then disappearing into the woods. Yeah, we, we see the community. We still know that we see the problems in the community. I said, for instance, what do you do to help people that need lawyers, need to be better in case you see them going to jail without lawyers, being in the streets, not giving consideration of the law? Well, what do y'all do in cases like that? 
The clip starts with Freeman trying to control the camera while searching for an unexplained... What are they doing? What do you do to help? That's what I'm trying to find out. I've been talking about one thing. You know, anybody knows. We talk about the problems all day, all, all day long. We talk about what they do to... Well, okay, I can 100% defend myself into that right there. Um, well, for one, I actually bring my... Um, well, I believe charity starts at home. So I definitely focus a lot on my family because it's a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. And the friends that they make and the friends that they bring to my house and stuff like that and what I do in my private time and what I talk to people around me. Like if you're talking about like joining the YMCA and going out and, you know, I, I, I know I'm not a community leader. I know. I see that there's a problem, and I do ask the questions. I bring that awareness through this program in other ways with my mouth, with my friends and the people I talk to. Do y'all have any funds available today to help people get lawyers with and meet lawyers as for an instance? Okay, and that's another thing too, dude. I, I am definitely not a community activist either because I am not about that any of that stuff either. You, I am more about, you know what, be more aware about your family and what you're eating and the chemicals that are out there and understand that the world values. that you're in and start believing and meditating and believing in God and praying to God and bring that stuff back to basics. Before you can go around helping other people why don't you bring why don't you help yourself and the people around you first because that doesn't even help and it feels like like you're you're you say you're with the ncw what what is that that's right yeah okay we fight every day i go to court court and they take the court tournament to the nacc try to get people lawyers to come to, to represent them in the court you can provide funds and stuff like that but we need we need more of that Grove of trees. Right. People, people in the community that so part of part of that is finding out a, a common interest of how we could work together and feeling instead of feeling like people are being attacked like what are you doing what are you doing because i'm doing all of that i'm a social warrior i'm not a social warrior no. I bring a social awareness to my family and my friends and I look around the world oh, around me yeah, and I ask my viewers and ask the people around me. I was like, you see, what's going on with this world? What's going on? You want to know why? Because we forgot. We forgot about a lot of things. And we forgot about how to treat our family and our friends. And that's where it starts. And then you can bring it to the community and find out who your neighbors are. And yeah, that, you know, that's great that you're a community leader, but I recognize and see that. That, that I'm I'm a family leader and I focus on my family and I look around my area and I talk I do talk to my neighbors I talk to the people across the street and well I'm not too much well, I have one lady next that? to me because well, she's mean as hell but hey you know you say eat your own Bigfoot GoPro sighting yeah. Oh, yeah. No, man, I'm trying to find out this. I'm trying to find out this. Now we 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 we, we see the condition of the community. You see? Now, what I mean, you know, team, but you have to get away and talk about what's happening, and the people see what's going on in the community. You know, what I'm saying when you see people with a problem, what do you do to, to come to aid and assist the person with the problem? You know, it's, it's, you know, I, I keep using the same example. It, it, it's, but the it's, it's the show itself. It's the show itself that does that. People listen to it, and they, they say, hey, this guy needs help. We put it out there, hey, this dude needs help. It and goes here, out there. And here's their story. And some of these people. Oh, you know that. And, that's and that's recognizing story. what the prism <laughs> system really is, <laughs> that it's a business and bringing that awareness that don't be part of that business. Don't be an, in, you know, don't be in like an unpaid employee of the prison system don't fall into that into that don't let you know don't do stupid stuff that's going to put your name on paper and, and make you a target that when things go wrong that you're the first person they're looking at because it's 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 stupid and you're you're able to be victimized that way because you're poor you don't have the family behind you there's you have a drug problem you know there, there's a lot of different reasons why we could just like shake the shake the shake this up and roll the dice all day long and talk about the different ways that it could end up but it's how you, how well, you're going to deal with it cause, uh, what, what drive people to the conditions like some people never had a chance right what you know what the, the, the pressing of old person and all of that is 
not being given due pro- not given consideration, being uh, due consideration from the law, or uh, being just driven into position, or where, where you can't, where, where you're forced to do things because you have no other way of living or something like that. They're driven by hardship and stuff like that. People with hardship. You know what? You want to know what? I'm going to tell you the God's honest truth. You're born into this world with nothing. With nothing. With absolutely fucking nothing. And what you do with your nothing is on you. Yes, absolutely. The opportunity that you make for yourself. You got to get in where you fit in. You hear all that stuff. You know. Yeah. That's an excuse that you're making. You, 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 you know what? Try. You know what? Pull, you pulling pulling out, blame, pulling out cards, blame. and no, and blaming the people around you because, because you're not succeeding. You and and hey, you know what? If if what you're not you? making the effort for it, and you're not manifesting for it, and yeah, you're not right. believing in yourself, and you're not going, and you're not praying to God, and you're not meditating, and you're not, yeah, because it all believe it all focuses them right there because we are a spiritual we are on a spiritual planet this is a spiritual war that we're going through our families are being decimated by the ignorance around us and the people not being able to you know be brave enough to say anything what about the american indians how's they getting the position that they are in i'm american i'm american indian the possibility of the yeah, well, how do you get in the position that you were in then? Got off the reservation. Get off the reservation. We lost, yeah, well, well, you was doing okay before before you were suppressed, came in and took over and killed up and dispersed and trying to get you. See, that's that same so, thing still so going that, on. That's, that is that's that, that's a mentality Keep right there. training the next generation you're, that same well, hatred of things. Yeah. Well, teaching them something you're, better. You're free. You're We're born in a free, free nation where you get to choose You can do, do whatever things, you want. But people keep bringing the past up over and over that same shit over. No one's suppressed. No one's pushed back. This is the best people. time of our lives right now. <laughs> we have great <laughs> shit. We got great. We got fucked up <laughs> leadership is what's going on. Everything else is fine. You get the, Look, no, like, wow. man, you, you making that excuse. No, no. Up, man. You, 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 no, you, man. You're, you're, you're Those people that, that are you're all dumb out, and don't man. know how to do nothing, that's on them because they chose that life to be stupid and do dumb <laughs> things. You know, when you want to get oh, wiped up, ch- wipe your own self up. You got to wipe your own I'm, self up. You can't expect everybody to do everything for you. That's what they're being taught. All these new generations, you want to save somebody? Teach them how to be a fucking human being. Yeah, the community. Yeah, I'm doing the best I can. At least I'm trying. I'm trying, you know, my, my best. I'm putting my 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 aid and systems out there. My, my little money I'm making, everything, my time, and to try to get people to understand uh, how important it is to, to to help your neighbor, or help people that need help and stuff like that. But all you're doing is talking about it, and the guy that and covering up for covering up for people. Who oh, so you want me to go to their house, wipe their ass, shake no, their no, dick, no, and do no. all the stuff for them? They got to do it on their own. I, what am I supposed to do with my community? Change somebody else's. I got my own family. That's what I'm doing. I am making sure that the next generation is going to be able to go to the job and do it with my children. When you got to go on the radio and tell the people what you're doing for your own self, for what? As an example, what they could do for their family. As an example, what you could do for your family. You know what? Put, put, we imagine you're on a plane, and the only way you're going to be able to save anybody else on it is by putting on your face mask and being able to say, hey. Yeah, because, yeah, because you know what? Being a, a, an influencer and a social justice warrior, you know what? That That isn't what we need right now. We, we need. I know. What you need to do is not what we need right now. We need Spider Man. We need some Spider Man. But you know what? We. Now you're trying to cover up. We need our families to be. Now, but cover up. We need our families to be stronger. We need to stop taking our pharmaceuticals. Like I said, I'm not going out there and making sure the person goes to work. I'm not doing that shit. These people have got to do it themselves. They all fucked up. That's they chose it, not me. You gotta be strong. Teach your children how to be Dude, strong. How your family this world be is strong. Up you know what? Scary. The, the weak will not survive. Too. Yeah. The weak will not, oh, not survive. The camera was mounted to a tree. Well, why can't you accept the truth of the matter? You, you, you try because you know. The, the, the you know what it sounds like to me is like you have a lot of word hatred. salad he has going hate, on. Hatred inside yeah. his heart. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. 
Because yeah, your energy hey, I, is yeah, very my, my negative. Energy. My, I'm, my, I'm an yeah. empath. Holy shit. Yeah, I you're a very negative person. Right? Yeah. No, you can't because it's I'm stupid. I'm going to ask them questions. I'm yeah. a legitimate well, I'm question. I'm going to ask them questions. Ask you yeah. anything. No, you, your questions are not anything. I'm not asking them questions. You, I said that you, 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 you can't go any further on the old-fashioned lifestyle. You're so asking you me what change. we're doing, and I'm telling you what I'm doing, and you know what you're telling me? It's not good enough. But yeah, you know what I'm doing? Right I'm doing something. At least somebody's standing up I'm and not, saying something okay, and doing okay, something, okay. and that's part of it. But you know what, dude? Hey, but... But you know what? That that is what people need to do more. Is we need to debate more, and this is what we need to do: is talk it out, because it doesn't go anywhere if any if everybody's just not talking about anything. And we gotta talk about all of it, even the uncomfortable shit, because that's the way it is. Why you wanna call somebody's shoulder though? You said you got everything you want. You can do everything you want. So what you want to tell the world about? What you got? And not do anything to help? Explosion of the shotgun. You, you, you this you know, think, you think this program it. right here is helping. This program that we got right here. It's an this escape for the talk. prisoners. Can, can I it's tell you something? It's an escape. It's a story. You, you it's think, to get your mind off what the fuck you did. Do you think I'm privileged or something like that? You think I'm standing from a place of privilege? You, you think I'm on the show yeah, because I'm some kind of asshole? I got Because you want to know what? My family is touched by this. By Prison, my dad, my brother, my son, my ex husband, my uncles, my, all the males in my family. So you need to stop. To stop. Because you know what? I'm not whipping out any cards for anybody. I'm just saying that this is the way the world is working right now. I'm here because it affects me in this way, and this is how I'm dealing with it and how other people deal with it. something, brother. Yes, brother. And this is how we all come together <laughs> as a family and you know christian brothers and sisters because you know because it does it affects everybody and you see it just like i don't hey, yeah i don't have you're not asking for help if you're not asking for help what you're doing on the air I'm not, not asking for help. help. Yeah, I'm not asking, I'm, for, I'm not asking nope. for no help. Nope. We're helping other people, and we're helping them socially, and we're helping them in a mental way. And I'm not a doctor. I don't give no medical advice, but we can talk about things and stuff, and you know, and that's the way it is. I you getting paid to be on the air, aren't you? Hell no, I ain't being paid. No, I'm, I'm doing not this out nothing. of... Hell no, I ain't being paid. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I don't want it. I'm not in for money. We have no Patreon. We well, have no links. We do this out of our own free air, time. Do this guy. I just hang, I'm just what hanging you? out. You know what? We're, maybe what we're representing like, like how people talk. This is family oh, this here. Is family. We're this is all family right here. My daughter, my son, and my stepson. We're just chilling. That's who's here. That's people. who's here. What you know what you talk about your own. Because you don't need help. What the fuck you get on the air to talk about your own problems? For? We're, we're not got no problem. <laughs> I'm you not know, having a problem. You know I got no problem. Right now you we're know, talking about your problem right now. See, you're the one calling about the problem, and now we got you. We got this guy. You got who? You ain't got me. You got you on the show. You got you're it. the one that's bad, not me. I'm not trying to prove anything. No, no. I'm just listening well, to a story. Well, and you're calling, you're being so all like well, well, negative and stuff. Well, you being, being like that. Yeah, but, well, well, you get on but, I, I'm not going to, not, like I said, I'm not going to go clean you anybody, the, wipe them the, up. They got to wipe their own asses. You got to be able to be strong. You got to be able to be strong to not, to take any pharmaceuticals. Don't take anything over the pharma. You think it's civilized, kind, and nice to, to get on there swearing and cussing and chanting all like that? Yeah, everybody's I got this freedom of speech is saying that's, stuff. That's ignorant, ain't it? No. Ain't that ignorant? No, people, you know people what? that have high intelligence swear sometimes. You, you, it, yeah, about, you, you know, you you're just, you're just nitpicking on any kind of like weird like, You're grasping thing, like, at straws dude, to man, be negative at anything yes, that you can find just, to be at, at a positive dude. show. You're hungry like a wolf. Yes. You are a wolf in sheep's clothing. Looking for You know what? The church warns me about people like you. Yes. Yes, a Sheep wolf and sheep's clothing. That we got gotcha. you. Sheep dog alert. You got it. Yeah. Uh, okay. But that's okay, because you know what? We're going to be calling it a wrap here yeah. soon, because I can't give you any more of my energy, of this. man. Yeah, I can't dude, give you it's all energy. good. A wolf in sheep's clothing. I, I, but that's all right. It's a great conversation, though. This is, 
call them police. This is yeah, America. No this is America. Oh, no. And no, 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 that's all good. Call. Now you don't know anything. Now, but one you know what? That stands up and say, yes, I can, when they say, no, you can't. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, we know. Uh, hey, look. It, yeah, but it, we're gonna it, it, we're gonna wrap it know, up with you, you know, this civilized. evening. You no, know, my friend, you know, we are gonna wrap it up civilized. with you That's this evening because you. you wanna know what this, this we're a, we're a positive show. We talk about positivity. We promote positivity. That's what we're about. We're, and that's how we help people You're negative. mentally. And you do it a different way, and we do it our way. And if it's not good enough for you, he does it too bad. Oh, it we're not you, it's America. Dude. Everybody does their not own you. thing. I'm not here to please you. You're nope. not. I'm, the, and you're definitely care. not here to please me. Yep. And it's all good. Don't care. So you have a wonderful night. You have a wonderful night, God my friend. You, baby. Hell yeah, I'm going to meditate and pray to God for you, my little wolfy friend. Yeah. I'm going to pray and meditate and pray for you, wolf. Yeah. Brother, we're done with this guy here. We can wrap it up for him. Yeah. Just like the first dibs right now, this is... Are you guys ready to go? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yep. You ready? This is Mike. This is Ken. This is Michelle. And this is Rich. And, and this, this is, is the Man Witch Show. The Man Witch Show. Like, subscribe, and follow. Ding. Love me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank on, you for guys. watching. Everybody oh, watching. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate Go down, it. Catch a buzz. Yeah, I'm going to get high now. Yeah, there we go. Bing. Bing. For Michael. Ding a ling. <laughs> very that interesting. Song? That guy was very interesting. He was interesting. That I'll was. talk to him again. But I, I just, I'm just not into uh, social justice. So goodbye to us. You have to say me, baby. And I'll listen to the calls. You want to try, baby. I know you can. I know your heart. Figure out Two weeks or so. <laughs>